Today, let's discuss the difference between discriminative models and generative models. Let's start with discriminative models. Imagine you are teaching a computer to distinguish between cats and dogs. The discriminative model will aim to draw a line that neatly separates the data points of these two classes. It's actually traditional supervised learning, where the goal is to define a decision boundary based on the provided training data. This decision boundary helps us make predictions. If a new data point appears, then the model will be able to classify the data point as either a cat or a dog. The focus here in discriminative learning is on discriminating between the classes. So the problem description here is given the data point X, what is the probability that the data point X has a class level Y? That is, given an image, what is the probability that it is a cat image? And what is the probability that it is a dog image? This is an example of a discriminative learning application. Now, generative learning. Here in generative learning, we are not interested in learning the probability of a class level given input X. Rather, we are interested in the probability of generating the data point itself. We want the model to understand the essence of cats and dogs and hence generate them. How will the generative model work? We can train a neural network that capture the essence of both cats and dogs. Even without knowing the levels, the model can learn to represent the underlying distributions of these class levels. Then afterwards, when asked to generate a data point, the model will generate data from that distribution. We can even do conditional sampling using a generative model. You want a cat image? The model will go to its underlying representations where cats are placed and generate one from that specific area of the cat representations. You need a dog image. The model taps into the dog distribution and generates one sample. These types of generative models are known as the conditional generative model. So again, as an application of discriminative learning, an example is given data points, the model predicts class levels. An example of a generative model is given the class level, the model generates a sample of that class level. There are many different forms of generative models in practice. Some examples are generative adversarial networks, diffusion models, variational autoencoders, autoregressive models, transformer-based models, adversarial autoencoders, and many others. I have some videos regarding generative models. I'll provide links to those videos in the description section. Thank you.